neo stock price prediction and news update okay guys so i got a really um important video that is out today so i want to talk about neo stock simply because neo stock has been obviously pretty much considered the tesla of china and it is uh one of the stronger chinese ev stocks so out of neo xiaoping and li auto i would rank those neo number one xiaoping number two and li auto number three of course we have candy and and other uh kind of chinese ev stocks but those are the three major ones and i wanted to talk about neo because i think that you know neo's volume has been so high as of late so if we take a look at the chart here we can see that basically neo's volume has been absolutely insane uh guys literally it's been you know hundreds of millions of shares and this has gone on now for almost a, an entire month so 30 days as well and there's a pretty important news that was released the house um approved the bill to basically uh require chinese companies to be audited and this companies have around three years to basically get on track so i want to talk a little bit about that and give you guys my future neo price target Okay, so I'm on Market Watch. As you can see, this news was posted um, yesterday. So it says House passes bill that could delist Chinese companies from U.S. stock exchange. It says Trump could sign the measure into law quickly as soon as giving it okay. So this bill was already passed by the Senate in May, and the House of Representatives voted on it and they approved it on Wednesday. So it's known as the Holding Foreign Companies Accountable Act. And it should be signed by Trump. And to make a long story short, it says the bill aims to make foreign companies let the public company accounting oversight board oversee the auditing of their financial records they want to raise money by selling stocks or bonds to the u.s public so it says all u.s companies and most foreign companies already work with the pcaob but most chinese one and on is a lot of people were worried about companies like neo uh, alibaba li auto um xiaoping candy worried about these companies being delisted is that you don't have to worry about a uh, neo stock being delisted because there's going to be a very very low chance and i'm going to explain to you guys exactly why so if we head over to neo's investor relations we could take a look at who actually does their auditing okay so as you can see here i'm on neo's investor relations site you can just head over to their uh, ir.neo.com and go to resource investor faqs so if we scroll down here it says who is neo's independent auditor and it says price waterhouse coopers zong Qian llp so if we take a look at the PCAOB website, which is PCAOBUS.org. We can see that Price Waterhouse Coopers Jean Chian is already um, an approved auditor by the PCAOB. So if we take a look here, we can look at the, the firm summary as you can see here. They're already registered, so everything looks good. So apparently, you know, um, Neo is using Price Waterhouse Cooper. Uh, to do their books so things look good there's a really low chance that neo is going to get delisted and also i expect that this bill will be targeting smaller companies i'm thinking you know the whole luck and coffee debacle you know at the time luck and coffee was not nearly as big as neo li auto um xiaoping and companies like that so the good news is, is that the risk of this NEO being uh, delisted is very low. So I wouldn't let that be a deterrent into investing in the company. But the good news is, is that NEO recently released their November numbers. I wanted to quickly talk about those because the company is growing so fast. Okay, so we're on Automotive World here. It says NEO provides November 2020 delivery update. So NEO delivered 5,291 vehicles in November 2020. That was a monthly record and that was over 100% year over year growth and that was breakdown of uh, 13 around 1300 es8s uh 2000 or so es6 and 1500 ec6s so so far this year the company delivered around 36,000 vehicles in total that's up 300 um percent as well so as of november 30th the the cube of deliveries has been around 68,000 vehicles in total so this is great news so we have two really kind of bullish signals number one um price waterhouse cooper jean chan is doing their books so they probably won't get delisted by this new bill and the fact that deliveries are constantly growing um you know record deliveries and good 100 percent year over year growth so now let's kind of go back and take a look at to, to that stock chart and give you guys where i think neo stock is headed in the future 
So if we kind of head back here to trading view, we can see that basically NEO is basically trading right around its 20 day moving average. So it'd be really interesting to see uh, if it continues to dip below it. But with these two bullish signals, I think a lot of people might not really understand what that what the bill actually represents so they might be panic selling thinking that neo is going to get delistic but that's just far from the truth so like i said you know it's been ever since i mentioned neo on my channel back when it was trading around five to two to five dollars or so we've just basically seen a nice uptrend so there's going to be some bumps in a the road there's going to be you know a couple down a couple you know some gap ups and some some retractments but you know overall i think neo stock is it's headed much okay so the current market cap of neo is around 50 billion dollars so that would kind of put tesla at a market cap that's 10 times as large so uh, looking at the number of deliveries of uh, deliveries as we can see here so if we go back here so so far this year um they've delivered around 36,000 vehicles and tesla's on track to deliver around 500,000 vehicles so that would put the market cap at a similar range Obviously, Tesla is a much bigger company, but I think there's still a lot of growth left in NEO. And if you guys were watching my video I posted earlier on ChargePoint, you saw the explosion that we're going to see in EV sales across the globe and especially in China. So I think that uh, for you guys that are long term bulls on NEO stock, I think, you know, I think everything's fine. Uh, there's great news today. Uh, not a lot to worry about long term. I still think things are headed in the right direction. So, you know, kind of looking at this chart right here, there seems to be plenty of support for NEO stock sitting at around, I would say, around the 44 to 45 dollar mark. So if it breaks down here, it could be a little bit more um, selling pressure, but I don't, I don't know, um, exactly how everyone's going to react to that bill. A lot of people are going to get scared out of stock, not understanding that this doesn't really apply to NEO. I think NEO is exempt from this bill. So this could be a nice dip buying opportunity. Like I said, we did hit an all time high of around 55 or so dollars like that. So, you know, if this is a nice dip, it could run much higher as we head into the middle of december because i expect neo again to have good deliveries and even better numbers in 2021 guys uh there's been a lot of headwinds for just companies in general having to like shut down their factories for the pandemic things like that and since you know everything apparently started in wuhan china i would expect uh, neo a chinese car maker to come back 10 times stronger not, not exactly 10 times stronger but come back a lot stronger with 2021 with kind of a clean slate and just ability to deliver more vehicles so i still like neo long term i'm really happy that um this bill got passed hopefully this will kind of prevent a lot of the problems that we had mostly with things like luck and coffee and um candy and things like that but neo i haven't seen any problems with their books and um, like i said the founder you know guy william lee he really seems like a stand-up guy and this guy was already rich before he started neo so he definitely has a bit of a track record that he's built up for himself and china has a bit of a reputation guys so i think things look good for neo stock i think this is a nice buying opportunity you can pick up some shares here uh there's a couple other potential ways if you want to trade some options long term you could do that as well but usually neo has been a stock where even though it's had a few hiccups like i said those delivery numbers are still hitting records so right now we're just seeing downward pressure based on fear uh, the business is doing much better and um, we should see much much stronger numbers uh, in december as well and heading into next year okay so to give you guys a future price target my thing my thing with neo is is that i've been basically looking at the previous chart patterns so we had a peak here and then we had a slight pullback and then we had another peak and a slight pullback another peak and a slight pullback so to me this is another peak and this is another slight pullback moment so my price target for neo by the end of the year i think neo stock can easily hit around uh i would say 60 to 70 dollars probably 65 dollars is a more conservative price target uh, this news is going to shake out a lot of the kind of, um, you know, a lot of the, the investors that, um, you know, aren't really doing their due diligence on NEO and a lot of new money is going to come into the stock. So this is actually a bullish signal, even though the stock is kind of sold off a bit. And I think we're going to close out the year around $65 per share. So if you haven't gotten into NEO stock yet, I still think there's an opportunity. Um, just look how fast it's run up. I mean, if we take a look at this year to date chart here. We could see that Neo stock is already up, you know, 1200% this year. So it's just been an amazing ride. And I still think there's a lot of, um, there's a lot further to go. This is just 2020, guys. We have, you know, another nine years or so in this decade of growth in the EV industry. And Neo is definitely going to be one of the stocks to profit from it. So it's been one of the best performers 
uh, you know, by far this year when it comes to the EV industry. And there's no reason why this stock probably won't be trading at around a hundred dollars or so within the new within the next six months or so. I mean, even if it even if the stock right now was at ninety dollars, that would put it at about a hundred billion dollar market cap. So obviously that would be a little bit ambitious, but you know, maybe by next summer or by this time next year for sure, by the end of 2021, I wouldn't be surprised to see Neo trailing trading at well over um you know well over a hundred dollars or so but for the end of the year i'm going to put out a price target of around 65 dollars i think it's going to basically uh ramp much higher once kind of you know new money comes to the stock and it takes it much higher so that's my price target guys um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's kind of just a quick update on neo stock just wanted to record this video give you guys um kind of what's been happening with that bill and with their new delivery number so if you enjoyed this content guys please smash the like button and smash the red subscribe button to see more updates from me and if you guys are make sure you guys are subscribed to my daily stock watch list where i post the five to ten stocks that i'm watching every day monday through friday on my sub stacks you can uh, subscribe to that for free at investortrip.com newsletter or you can just click the link in the description below so that's it until next time guys take care